And here are all the pieces for the little elephant rocker. Alrighty, so these pieces are all pretty much the way that uh, you'll get them. But I did run a file on the just on the edge of them just to break the edges to make sure if there's a little bit of um, um, little burrs from the cutting tool um, just take them all together and then run your your sanding paper um, on the edges and round them off so that it's it's nice for you uh, to do either paint or stain whichever Th this kit is wood I will be making it available also in cardstock Use some regular wood glue, even if you're doing the one with cardstock on one side only. So be generous because uh, this particular wood is a little porous and it will absorb before you have a chance to put the other piece together. Okay, And then you match the other piece, get the two pieces matching and it should. And now you take some more glue and all the way along, especially on the edges. Make sure that there is glue on the edge. If you feel better about it, you can always use your your little clamps, but this is pretty soft wood, and so the clamps will tend to make dents. And now you're going to put the two elephant sides together. I used to, uh, because this is very soft wood, um, and I think it just gives it a tiny bit more um, dimension. So put lots of glue, especially on the edges. And these were all also um, sanded. And there you go, like that. A little uh, bottle here. That way I do it faster. If you feel better with the toothpick process. That is your option. Going to the edges, making sure you get the tail. For durability, the glue will help. There you go. And be careful with the glue if you just want to have um, a stain. But you know, you can always apply a light or watered down acrylic brown, uh, which will give you a stain effect and does not react with the um, glue so all okay so there you go use your clothes pins or anything that has a soft edge on it because it will make dents there you go just a little something to to tighten them down do the little the trunk okay so now you have that and you have that Okay, so with your elephant in the center, put some glue on one of the little rectangles it comes with, and about halfway in the center of the rocking base, you glue it on. Let me see if this helps. Let's do it this way so you can see where I am. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one, the other rectangle. And you glue it on this side. Because what's going to happen is this elephant, whoops, elephant is going to rest on there. See? So you have to get it just there. Now take the other side and you're going to match it up. Put some glue on the top of the rectangles. This is all, it's still drying, so it can move. And that's one side, the other side. And here we go. Uh, make sure you have your nice side out. They're both pretty okay. And I'm going to, going to look from the top down and it helps to go like that. This is the, the most finicky part because you want to get it nice and even. So there it is. And that needs to dry. Squeeze it a little bit carefully though. If you squeeze too much, it will bend. 
you're going to squeeze it, squeeze it from the center, just the tiniest little bit, just so that the glue can attach itself. And then once that's done, don't move it again, because you know, the more you fiddle with glue, the worse it's going to get. It says I, who always fiddles. There you go. Okay, so that's that. Leave it to dry. And getting it, while that's drying, put some glue on the inside of your, one of your ears. Don't need a lot because the handle is going to go and secure it. You have this notch here, circle, lay it down through this hole. Take your other ear, position it and let's put some glue on the inside and squeeze it together. Some glue on it. There you go. Now you can position the ears whichever way you think would be kind of cute. We'll cut some of this off for now. It's just a little bigger than, than you need. So, um, there you go, they match, and so now we get our clamps, and I will clamp this down. Should be nice and closed. If you find that there are areas without glue, you can add the glue onto it and wipe it off. If you're going to paint it, it's not a problem, All right? So, there you go. I'm going to let this dry like that. Well, the sad story is that I thought I was filming everything up to this stage, and in fact, I was not. And um, I only have the one kit with me uh, for this trial kits that I'm doing. And unfortunately, um, I must show you this end result, which isn't quite totally finished yet. Um, I don't know what it is, but I feel that um, where I am right now, I'm being influenced by the colors here. Um, they use sort of bright colors. And, um, and then I did a whitewash over it because I didn't like it. Um, so basically from the from the last footage which I have, I started putting it all together and it's it's super simple um, to put together because the pieces just, um, let me just add it. I added the legs and added the, um, the seat, the little seat, and then um, glued it onto the, the rocking bit. I painted this once it was already glued together. And that's definitely not what you might want to do, especially if you don't have a steady hand, which I don't. Um, <clears throat> it could be done a little nicer. Um, and now all that I'm left to do um, is uh, do a, a coat of Mod Podge. You would put a coat of Mod Podge on this to seal all the, the, the wood and the paint together. Um, I will use some clear varnish um, because I do not have Mod Podge where I am, have not even been able to find it. So, that being said, it will be um, varnished so that there is a bit of a, a sheen. Um, I have applied some top coat varnish, this is nail varnish, uh, just to give you a little bit of a shine since I don't have Mod Podge. Through the struggle of losing some some video and some painting, which actually, you know what, um, not much loss. I did change my mind a few times, even though I ended up with this very um, unusual color scheme. I think, I'm, like I mentioned before, I'm influenced by the island colors here. Um, I think, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, anyway, um, also not having a decor that I want to use this in um, doesn't help because 
this could be for anyone's decor and not necessarily a boy or a girl um, in mind. It was just, let's see what we, what we get here. Anyway, um, I will be tweaking this kit and I will be making instructions and providing um, with the kit, I'll be providing a little scheme, a little d drawing um, that you can place on your work surface and then you will know exactly where to glue the, the legs and the ears so that they'll all be um, the same. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little kit. Uh, again, uh, this came from an inspiration of a real um, elephant uh, rocker that I've seen online and I did some revisions uh, to make it into a 12th scale kit. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and um, do leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.